your brain literally does not know the difference between past, present and future. They are constructs of time. Yeah. And how often do we lament about the past and it feels as real, but we can't change it. It's happened. How often do we worry about the future? Oh, what if that happens? Especially at the moment. What if this happens? What? But it hasn't happened. But we feel it as real as if it had. And then even more mind blowing is that your brain does not know the difference between fact and fantasy. <laughs> So tell us about the real method. How did that come about? Well, it's working in the real world. So my methodology is all about how to set people up at no matter what level of seniority. And if you get the gift of this knowledge early in your career, wowzers, you know, you're getting something that your previous um, peer groups didn't get. How to navigate your growth, your career and your leadership successfully whilst coping with high volumes of change. So the real method gives immediacy in terms of Three things, that clarity piece. So the clarity has to be there in the beginning. Otherwise, you can never set up for successful growth and change. You then go to the second C, which is confidence. And then the third C that you need, and the, the real method helps with all, so all three of these, is commitment. Yeah, actually get the rubber on the road and do something different, which takes energy. <laughs> How it's normally delivered is we go, we start with reveal. And reveal is all about motivation understanding what motivates you and then we go to stamp which is what is your job and that uses the five r's sculpt is all about your leadership style and how to tangibly create your usp as a leader and and to create a personalized growth map that will accelerate your leadership and then we also have strip which is going under the hood you know what emotions and beliefs have you got that are either working for or against you we set up before the real method with a module called prime where we actually canvass everybody about what do they believe is going to help them. And then we also, we conclude with a fuse and a wrap where we we canvass everyone's opinions. And this also happens if you're one-to-one. -one. So the beauty, again, it can work one-to-one, -one, it can work team, it can work across a whole company. I'm loving the, the thought that it's a, a real method for the real world. Then I'm loving this thought that you've got some low-hanging fruit, some things that you can make some immediate changes that you can start seeing the benefits of but then you mentioned about this accumulation of growth not just oh i did a standalone module here or a standalone module there but they they're building on each other and then creating this this clarity this confidence this commitment of the leader that i'm going to become so i'm so far i'm loving the the let's say the architecture of this the one i want to pick on just just as a sample can we talk about strip Strip is what it says on the tin. And I purposely wanted a provocative title because it's about stripping naked, you know, in the in the metaphorical sense of the word, um, what's going on for a team or an individual under the hood. Because we are all emotional creatures. And sometimes in the world of work, to its detriment, we're asked two things, actually. We're asked to either overshare about our emotions, which I think can be helpful, but there's also a line. And we can ask to hide our emotions and go, yeah, I'm so sorry that happened in your, in your personal world, but can you just crack on with this because I need you to get this done. So it's a fine and difficult tightrope, if you like, to walk along between are your emotions working for or against you? There's always stuff going on under the hood. So strip is a way of, in a practical and structured way, safely navigating your emotions and your beliefs and what's happening in your subconscious world as a leader not your conscious world your brain literally does not know the difference between past present and future they are constructs of time yeah and how often do we lament about the past and it feels as real but we can't change it it's happened how often do we worry about the future oh what if that happens especially at the moment what if this happens what but it hasn't happened but we feel it as real as if it had. And then even more mind blowing is that your brain does not know the difference between fact and fantasy. Yeah, because everyone is subjective. So strip helps you understand what really powerfully helps you understand what is going on for you in your own mind. How well is your subconscious working for 
or against you because interestingly your brain's primary purpose and focus in life is to keep you alive that's it that's what your brain is there to do and that and also what it's there to do from a, a primeval point of view is at the minimum use of energy possible so are our emotions working for us or are they emotions working against us i thought that was wonderful there's almost nothing more powerful than the stories we tell ourselves in our own mm. head and are our beliefs limiting beliefs or are they empowering beliefs and what can we do to reframe them so that they are empowering instead of limiting challenge that story that you're telling yourself in the head is it true or did you just convince yourself it was true mm -hmm.